Hey there all craft beer lovers, time for another beer review. So yeah, once again guys, going to uh, Innocent Gun out of Scotland. We're taking a look at their Higher Ground, which is described on the label there as a barrel-aged Highland Cask Ale. Coming in at 6.2% ABV, as you can see there. 330ml bottle there, limited edition, they say. Let's see here, what do we have? Uh, aged in single malt Highland whiskey barrels. Higher ground uh, is a warming amber ale with sweet hints of molasses and cocoa. Uh, a heady brew with a spirited kick. Higher ground is uh, everything you need to ease you through the changing seasons. A little bit hard to read there. So yeah, so there you go guys, another innocent gun, there's the bottle cap, it came uh, with this nice looking box, a little bit more information back there, not gonna read it out to you, but you can uh, pause the video if you like and read it. So a uh, amber ale aged on whiskey barrels, sounds very much of course like uh, innocent gun. There we go, good smoke. And this beer is going out. Oh yeah, looks nice. I can smell it already. Oh yeah, there we go guys. Now I did a review not long ago. I reviewed their, uh, what was it called? I think it was Kindred Spirits. Yeah, that was the name, Kindred Spirits. It was a whiskey barrel stout. And this is a uh, whiskey barrel amber ale. So, very much as I said, that Innocent Gun tradition. Now, let's see how this one holds up. Okay, in view, guys, what do we have? One, one and a half finger, basically, of a little bit off white colored head. It looks very, very nice. Uh, oh, yeah, amber colored beer. Nice, uh, well, looks a little bit filtered almost. Uh, aroma. Yeah, so definitely loads of caramel. Loads of caramel, toffee, hint of chocolate, hint of that whiskey in there. Yeah, it smells good. Very good. Oh yeah. So, with that said guys, let's dive in and see what we're going to get then. Cheers everybody. Okay, yeah, I mean pretty much what I expected actually, uh, I'm gonna go right away for a second one. Mm. So yeah guys, all right, for me this beer is basically the same as the other one I did, the Kindred Spirits, and it's kind of a significant I mean, character for all these Innocent Gun beers, they have a, they are very thin bodied. It's a thin body, and so is this. It's a very thin bodied beer. You have some initial nice flavors there. You have got some initial malty, caramelly, toffee, fudgy, chocolate notes, a little bit of that uh, boost there, a little bit of that whiskey, but just ever so slight, and then it kind of quickly fades away. And that's that's a little bit my of my beef with Innocent Gun because yeah they do some pretty steady beers of course they do uh, I don't think it's a bad brewery but many of their beers are a little bit thin almost watery at times uh, and only you only get the flavors kind of initially and then kind of they quickly fade out so that's a little bit of that's a little bit my beef with innocent gun uh i expected it to be like this and i mean i was right so yeah higher ground guys it's basically very much the same as many other of their beers but i mean yeah looks nice nice presentation let's go for a final sip Yeah, for me, it's okay, guys. It's not nothing more than that. It's an okay beer. 
Uh, nothing that would ever make me jump up and down out of excitement. Uh, I wouldn't even consider this as a seasonal beer, like a, a winter warm or anything like that, because it's too thin, too thin-bodied, uh, not a, not enough oomph in it, and uh, yeah, it lacks body, lacks lacks character, it lacks the oomph factor, it lacks that winter warm sensation. So for me, uh, I mean, it's okay, but nothing more than that, really. Uh, 2.75 out of 5. That, that's what this one is getting for me. 2.75 out of 5. That's everything I had for today. Thumb me up. Subscribe to the channel. Have a good one.